So I consider Henry Rollins a genius. I consider Henry Rollins to be a genius um, for a number of reasons. The biggest reasons being he created the song Low Self Opinion and he's him and George Carlin are the two best spoken word artists I've ever seen. Um, and I really like listening to uh, Henry Rollins talk and interviews on YouTube. Um, but let's start with Low Self Opinion. Um, I heard Low Self Opinion for the first time. <coughs> it's a rock song. I heard that for the first time when I was um, when I was 12 years old on VH1's I Love the 90s. First of all, Henry Rollins was a regular guest on I Love the 70s, I Love the 80s, I Love the 90s because he's so well spoken, because he's so articulate. They just have him on a guest talking about all the music, all the cultural things from different decades. He was just one of the guests on that VH1 show that I really liked. That was the first time I've seen Henry Rollins. Um, and so when they got to I Love the 90s, they showed his song, Low Self Opinion, which is one of the smartest songs ever written, I think. Um, he's just really interesting to listen to when he talks in general on the other parts of the show, or we watch him on YouTube today. He's very interesting to listen to. But on Low Self Opinion, he, um, it's a very, First of all, you should just play it on YouTube or just play it on Spotify or play it wherever you listen to music. Um, it, it's, it can impact your life in a lot of ways. Um, if you're sad, it could make you feel less sad. Um, you should listen to Low Self Opinion. You, you'll feel better. I, I'm not going to read all the lyrics because the, you know, the copyright police will come after me. But I will say one, my favorite line of the song, which... I think Henry wants it to be the most memorable line of the song. If you watch the music video, yeah, actually you should watch on YouTube because the music video is um, really well made, and he's <coughs> he did a really good job in that music video. Um, and um, anyway, so the it, you should watch it. So, so the best line of the song is. Or, most important line of the song, not the best line. The most important line is, "If you could see me, I'm actually really I have a bit bad memory, so I I, I don't I, I don't really remember lyrics that well. But if if you could see, it's actually a tongue twister too. If you could see the you that I see when I see you seeing me, you would see yourself so differently. Let me say that again. If you could see the you that I see when you see." me seeing you, actually, I, I gotta mix up, you see the me seeing you, you would see yourself so differently. I actually, I said that wrong, and I, I get these words mixed up because I'm not good with details, but if you could see the you that I see when I see you seeing me, you could see, you would see yourself so differently. If you could see the you that I see when you, when I see you seeing me, when you see me seeing you, you would see yourself so differently. I'm I'm not good with lyrics, honestly. I'm I'm more of a beat guy myself. I like listening to the background beats of songs more than I like the lyrics. But this is such a well written song, and all the other lyrics are fantastic too. If you could see the you that I see when I see you seeing me, you would see yourself so differently, so differently. And that means a lot to me. And it's it's brought me past some times in my life where I've been depressed. I've been depressed, and and that song has brought me back to life in a lot of ways low self-opinion, and you think about it, I, I do have a low self-opinion, and a lot of people do have a low self-opinion, and, and that song can bring you back to life when you really think about it, really think about what that means, like, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with me. I mean, there is stuff wrong with me, but the, my biggest problem is I have a low self-opinion. That's my biggest problem. I hope that doesn't make me sound like a bad person for saying that. I hope it doesn't make me sound arrogant or overconfident by saying that, but... Oh, I've, I've got other problems, too. And, and, and that's not actually my biggest problem. That's one of my problems. That's one of my problems. I have a low self-opinion. I actually have about 100 other problems. I could go into some other time, but that's one of my many problems. And it's... But if you could see the you that... I, if you could see the you that I see when, you, when I see you seeing me... You could you would see yourself so differently, and that's 
there's other great lines, other important lines from the song. I'm not going to read them all because I will get um, copyright stricken. Uh, but um, you need to watch the music video because the music video is actually even better than the actual song, in my opinion, because it was made in the heyday of MTV when music videos are a really important deal. Back when MTV was a huge thing in people's lives, uh, watch the low self-opinion music video. Um, so anyways, I, I first watched that, I first saw that on I Love the 90s when I was 12 years old on VH1. And I had a, I was relatively happy, I guess. Stressed out. My parents were divorced, but relatively happy when I saw that when I was 12. But as I got older, I started to get more depressed in my 20s. And that song meant a lot more to me when I got older than it did when I was 12. I didn't really have a low self-opinion when I was 12. I thought I was, I thought I was okay. I thought I was an okay person. I had friends, you know, people liked me. I did okay at school, I guess. I, I didn't do well at school, but, you know. It, my life was relatively okay. But when I got older, I got through periods of my life where my where life was not relatively okay and things got a lot worse really, 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 really quickly. Things got bad really quickly when I started working I mean I never did well in school I, mean, I actually did really poorly in school I did poorly in college poorly in high school I dropped out of college because I did so poorly and when I started working I did just as poorly as I did in school imagine that um, so I felt when I failed at the retail job I was working at I felt low self-opinion and that song kind of saved me in a lot of ways. You know, it, it helped inspire me to start vlogging and start communicating more and not to give up. That song helped me not to give up. Um, even though I failed in a lot of ways in my career, failed in school, I failed in my career, that song helped me motivate me to keep trying to do more things with my life. I actually do have a part-time job now, but... My prospects of getting a full-time job are relatively low because my eyes don't work very well. And I have a lot of other problems that I'm not going to get into right now. But let's just say um, my eyes don't work very well. I'll leave it at that. Um, but low self-opinion, that song meant so much to me. And I, I, I think Henry Rollins is a genius for writing it. And, and I, I could watch his interviews all day on YouTube, but... There's other people who are also geniuses. Kanye West is a genius. You know, who is the other person who is also? Anyway, there's other people I think are geniuses too. But Henry Rollins is a genius. Just for writing that one lyric, if you could see the you that I see when I see you seeing me, you would see yourself so differently. Just that one line, he's a genius. And you know what? Every line of that song is basically a genius. And it's such a perfect song. I'm not actually that much into rock, per se. I'm more of a R and b guy. Or synth, synth pop and R&B. But he, he really wrote some spectacular lines on that, in that song. And it really changed my life. And if he ever watches this, I just want to tell him thank you for changing my life. And thank you... For Thank you for trying to create that uh, material, that content that was so perfect that I feel like a completely different person. I feel like a completely different person because he's he did that. And I'm speechless because he's just, um, he's a really wonderful person. I think Henry Rollins is a really wonderful person. Is you know, I know he's had problems when he was a teenager with his father and disagreements and he's been stressed out at times. I'm sure he's stressed out a lot, but I think I see in interviews he says he's he gets angry sometimes. But I'm glad that he's able to channel that emotion into something positive rather than something negative. And he's just, he's brought so much warmth and light to this world. 
I'm really appreciative for everything he's done. Okay, I'm really appreciative of Henry Rollins as a creator, content creator, and as an artist and musician, as a poet. He's a lot of different things, and he's a wonderful person. Um, tell me in the comments below, what do you think of Henry Rollins? Do you think he's a genius like I do? Um, please subscribe to this channel to be part of the community. And please like the video. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.